Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Crystal Connections video. We're exploring Black Obsidian. Black Obsidian is actually not a crystal, but it still belongs with the crystal family for a specific reason. Crystals take thousands upon thousands of years to form, and they form in a crystalline structure and that is where their energy is held. However, obsidians are formed very quickly with the eruption of a volcano and then they become solid, forming this obsidian. And within that quick formation, that fiery energy is captured. And that is why obsidians still belong in the crystal family when it comes to metaphysics and spirituality. Being black, one of the primary purposes people use black obsidian is for protection. However, what I've found when people were recommending a crystal for protection, they'll choose just their favorite black crystal and it doesn't matter if it's obsidian or onyx or tourmaline or something else. However, in my experience, each black stone or crystal is different subtly. And the principles that can normally be applied to work out what works best for you for protection is like attracts like. So when I'm using black obsidian for protection, I'm using it for protection against fiery things. So against violence, anger, abuse. This is a good uh, stone to carry with you when you're, going, when you're dealing with a fiery situation or maybe going through a protest or, you know, worst case scenario, a war-torn area. Black obsidian is the crystal I use then. Now, one really great way to use black obsidian is to use a blade like this or an arrowhead that's been carved. And if you, ha if you live in a bit of a, a, an area where you're worried about violence or abuse or something like that, you hang it on the door pointing downwards when there's no obvious danger coming but when you are feeling threatened, you point it up and that increases the protection that the Black Obsidian offers to you. Black Obsidian can also be used in healing. You'll notice either a carved piece like this or a broken piece will have sharp edges and you have to be careful handling Black Obsidian because of those sharp edges. But these sharp edges act like a knife or a sword and can be used metaphysically or spiritually in meditation and healing as well. If there's something that you want to rid from your life and get rid of the emotional attachment and simply close your eyes, visualize that thing or that person before you and see an energy bond before you, you may even want to give that a color. Then when you're ready, take your obsidian and slice that bond and see that emotional bond letting go. As you let go of the emotional bond, you're not letting go of the circumstance or the person no longer loving them or accepting them or forgetting about them. You're stopping that emotional pull that drags you down. And Black Obsidian is really powerful for that. Being born of a volcano, Black Obsidian helps you connect with your own volcanic energy. Just as a volcano erupts from deep within and brings that power out to the surface, Black Obsidian can be used to awaken your latent abilities and powers. Wearing it or meditating with it and feel that power within you bubbling up and start to bring that up through your chakras and out through the crown and expressing that out into your aura. It's a really good uh, stone for people to work with if they're shy or if there's something that they're actually holding within. When we're holding something within it just builds up pressure like that volcano and eventually we erupt. If we start to work on allowing that to erupt at our own pace or when we're ready rather than this uncontrollable explosion then this can be a lot more healthy for ourselves other people around us and our lives one of my favorite ways to work with obsidian is to connect with a guide that we all have but a lot of us haven't taken the time to connect with yet and that's our dragon guide dragons being a keeper of the element of fire and obsidian being so fiery they really resonate well together so you can close your eyes and visualize and call forth a dragon before you and dragons having the power of fire can teach you all about transformation your dragons can let you to move on in life to let go of things that no longer serve you and to how to bring in what you really want as well if you're really passionate about doing a bit of a ritual to connect with your dragon then check out my book crystal connections and there's a full ritual in there on how to call forth your personal dragon you can then summon your dragon to appear whenever you're meditating or to also be a protective guide as you go about your day-to-day -day actions. Having such a volcanic energy, the ideal way to cleanse your obsidian is to place it on the ground near a an active volcano, somewhere that's quite volcanic. 
Now that may not be possible for everyone. So if not, then use the element of fire. Placing your obsidian close to um, an open fire, such as a campfire, or passing it through a candle flame three times quickly. The animal that I use in, for guidance when working with black obsidian is a real life dragon and that is the Komodo dragon, found on a couple of islands in Indonesia. The Komodo dragon has complete control over its environment and its life, and he can guide you how to do the same. So simply hold your obsidian in your hand, close your eyes and visualize that Komodo and ask for guidance on how to take control and be in total control of your life, allowing no one or nothing to overrun you or push you around. The plant that I use is called Dragon's Blood, and this is an unusual tree which creates a great resin and incense. Now this incense or resin can be burned for many different reasons. You can use it to draw to you what you want, to have control over your environment and draw that. It can also be very protective and you can um, burn it around your space to be protective. Or you can use it for divination. Light up a stick of the incense or light some of the resin and watch the smoke drift up while you hold on to your obsidian and look for answers for the questions that you seek. Finally, the planets that I use when working with Black Obsidian are Saturn and Pluto. So Saturn is very much about self-discipline, finding your own inner power and being in control of your life, and Pluto is about connecting with that inner power and that inner drive. Now Pluto doesn't rule the day of the week, but Saturn does, it rules Saturday. So Saturday is the best day to work with your Black Obsidian. Black Obsidian is such a great crystal to work with. It's got a fiery energy and gives you strength through summer, but also gives you that might and that power in winter and the colder months as well. I'd love to know about your experiences with Black Obsidian, so please leave a comment in the section below. Thank you so much for taking this time to watch the video. I'm Adam Barillet. Blessed be.